G'day, Alistair here from LearnDelphi.tv, and in this video we're going to discuss reducing the amount of memory required to compile your application. Now I'm, I've been working on a project in Delphi XE8, uh, so it's quite an old version of Delphi, and for a particular project when compiling it, it often runs out of memory, though the IDE runs out of memory and crashes. Now, if we have a look at, oh, let's bring up Task Manager, and is uh, Delphi currently at 100 megabytes? Let's load a project. In fact, let's squeeze this up a little bit. So we're at 178, and if I build it with Shift F9. Um, yeah, so it's sort of 180 megabytes, which is not a big deal, but if you imagine a project with hundreds of thousands or millions of lines of code, you can run out of memory uh, pretty quickly. Well, at least in Delphi X8 you can, because that version doesn't support the large memory model, so it's limited to a total of 2 gigabytes of memory, but I've noticed that it crashes at about 560 megabytes. And sometimes you get an out of memory error in the um, little compiler uh, thing here. Other times the, the ID will just die and weird things start happening or, yeah, not good. So how do you reduce the amount of memory that an application requires to compile? Now, the only way that I'm really aware of, so let's, let's have a look at the uses. So cleaning up the uses is kind of a, a really good way of, um, without, without modifying any of the Delphi settings, or removing, uh, going into components, components, and store packages, uh, unticking a, a bunch of these and not having them load up. But I don't, don't think that actually saves you very much memory at all. What does save you quite a bit of memory is cleaning up your uses depending on how bad they, bad they are. Now, previously I've been focused on the uses that the, in the, basically in the DPR file. So we have a look at, so cleaning up all the units uh, listed here. So if I am potentially, I could remove that one. Uh, I'm going to get, it's, it's missing, but if, uh, if it wasn't required, I would now be using slightly less memory to compile my Delphi application and it depends on, I, th I think it depends on the complexity of the unit uh, that, that you've got open and the, the unit that uh, it's referencing. So if it's, you're referencing a really large unit with lots of code in it, then uh, it might require quite a bit more memory and removing it, hence you know, saving memory. So now doing this manually, working it out is next to impossible. And I think I've discussed this in a previous video, we're going to use uh, third-party tools uh, to, to manage the process. So in particular, um, Pascal Analyzer, which is probably the most comprehensive static code analysis tool for Delphi, and I really can't recommend it enough. Um, there's really only a, a few, maybe a half dozen reports that I, I really pay attention to, but the uh, uses report is one of those. Now I'm just using the uh, light version. I do have the uh, full version installed, and which I got for free um, because I asked for it. Um, being a Delphi MVP has its perks. But uh, if if nothing else, download the free version and ha examine the um, the reports that you get. And you only get a small number of them. There are there are literally hundreds of reports in the full version. So anyway. Uh, what I've done here is in the project properties, I've turned on warnings only. So this indicates all the units that I can remove. So in theory, these aren't required. Uh, I'm thinking this one is uh, incorrectly uh, listed here because if we look at the Minesweeper, it's got a an image collection which will require um, obviously that, but through inheritance, I think that one is required as well, or at least to get automatically added when you um, add an image collection. Um, so it's not, not a perfect process, 
but the really nice thing is that we can also go and shift the in this case the system dot sysutils from the interface down to the implementation which is good for code hygiene but uh and i think it'll um, improve the speed of comp complication uh, compilation i'm not sure if shifting stuff from the interface to the implementation saves you any memory it might I, i'm i'm undecided on this i've been uh, experimenting a little bit but the amount of memory you save by shifting a single unit is not a lot you have to shift quite a few and i've i've in this large project i've done hundreds um, and i've primarily relied on pascal analyzer because i could get it installed in my secure environment or i couldn't get installed the next application which is cn pack now using the users cleaner uh, i'm going to say analyze all the units in the current project uh, this is on by default but i've removed uh, skip units with, with initialization it's not an issue for this project um, i might talk in detail about some of these in a, in a future future video but if you have an, an initialization section it might be required so that the unit might be required uh, and yeah i've gone uh, astray in 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 the past by uh ignoring that but um let's do process and it's not gonna take long now normally it ticks some of these automatically but uh it, it hasn't in this case so this this minesweeper application is, is quite small and so not a lot uh there's <laughs> not a lot of analysis required in a large project um you might have problems with it crashing and taking a very very long time so i am going to go through and tick these manually so in theory uh, i could probably do that one uh in skipping list ah let's go back uh did i forget yes i'm gonna delete everything in the skip skip list as well normally uh so in this project previously that's running out of memory i wouldn't have worried about the standard delphi units that, that get added automatically when you create a form for instance such as the, the windows messaging sysutils variants uh and so on but i am going to worry about it in this case so um yes okay so we can go through and i can say uh so these indirectly depends ones usually I've, I've got a component on the form so I have an, I'll probably have an action list or an image list um, but I can go through here and say that's probably fine to get rid of uh, variants dialogues uh, and messages generic collections okay we'll get rid of that one um image list i th maybe uh no i'm suspecting not actually i'll leave that one for now but those oh, maybe that one uh data module yes that probably is okay and we can see in this case we we're talking about the the base image collection before and there isn't uh it depends um indirectly and i get rid of controls and although that might be might be required might get uh, added back in automatically and we can remove those and you so I'll review the log and there it is there's the the various units and what have been removed from their uses so if i now try compiling this and it was quite happily successful no no problems there uh but uh a bit of a bit of tidying up required is the only thing i'm not sure why i don't have that listed um individual lines but i won't worry about that for now normally i prefer things uh each each unit on its own line um it looks like that's that's been removed completely that that uses section from that unit and uh no change on the project file so 
So basically now if I compile this, it will use uh, less memory. Um, now, a few, there's a few other potential things. I, I noticed, I thought, why has why this one not been removed? And so if I remove that, we get a whole bunch of issues with rect. So, and I thought that's that's odd for it to be in the Windows Windows unit, but in fact, uh, if I control click on rect, we see that it references uh, system.types.rect. So, what I can do is remove Windows from here and shift system top types uh, up, up to the top. And also sysutils, um, oops. So we've got a, a, a two string, uh, which is required, but this can go down here quite happily. And that would have been in the, um, so what you know, we're looking at the VCL form. There we go. In fact, that's, I've still got it highlighted. <laughs> And also with the uh, Minesweeper sound. Put that down there. So, and basically now, um, if I compile this, this time it would use slightly less memory. Uh, it's probably not even noticeable given the, the small number of units I've, I've shifted in this case. But, um, yeah, I mean, we're up to 250 megabytes thereabouts. And if I do a Shift F9, the memory will be dropped as a bunch of, initially when you start compiling, a whole bunch of stuff will get freed from memory, and then the memory allocation will start going up again. So that's more or less all, all I wanted to cover in this application. And yes, I did successfully make the Delphi a lot more stable, gone from requiring, you know, into sort of 500 megabytes to the low, low 400s for a compile and depending on what units you've got open whether or not it crashes so that that project is now a lot more stable and uh, I will continue playing around with uh, shifting units from the uh, interface to the implementation but because things aren't so marginal anymore it's a bit harder to tell uh, if, if it's making any progress um, certainly I noticed Shifting the Windows unit. Um, let's spell it correctly. Uh, it's you know forty four thousand lines of code, so uh, potentially uh, I felt I'm not sure exactly, but I felt that shifting that one, removing that one, made a big difference. Um, more so than say messages. Um, which is only 2,000 lines of code. And yeah, quite often um, they're, they're not used. Um, graphics is another one that's, that's often not required, but we've got a T canvas as uh, it's a parameter, yeah, to, to that method. So uh, anyway, so. I hope you found this video useful if you're using an old version of Delphi, such as probably XE8, maybe XE7, and a few, few earlier ones. They do require a bit of care with large projects, and I've worked on two now that had problems with in, in Delphi XE8. Uh, the, it's you know, migrating to a new version of Delphi will resolve that problem most likely because I think Seattle maybe, Delphi 10, 10.1, something around there, uh, migrated to the large memory model. so being able to use four gigabytes of RAM rather than two gigabytes. And as I said, the, the ID is still 32 bits. So uh, memory can potentially be a problem. And even if, you, if, you, if you've got um, a project with many millions of lines of code, uh, you might still run into problems with newer versions of Delphi. But a lot of stuff is done out of process now. So previously, it was just another enhancement. If we look at the task manager, um, there's... Uh, I'm not sure if it comes down here. Is it under BDS? No. Anyway, the um, no. The 
uh, a lot of stuff is done in separate processes now, such as the um, background compilation. Uh, is this, this two things that are shifted anyway? Code insight and and I think in background compilation, and uh, that makes a big difference on the amount of memory required, and also enables you to take more advantage of multi-core processes. Uh, so um, yeah. I think it's Del Delphi 11 that, that did that, and so yeah, definitely newer, newer versions of Delphi uh, is definitely worth upgrading if you're working on large projects. So I'll start ram rambling now. I hope you've found some at least some stuff in here uh, interesting. I'll see you in my next video. If you've got this long <laughs> through the video, um, I do have a couple of Delphi books, so Code Faster in Delphi and Code Better in Delphi, and I um, videos as well, which you can purchase on learndelphi.tv. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.